Hello everyone, and welcome back to Jurassic World Evolution, where I am now sporting one of one of the most beautiful buildings we have yet constructed, the Innovation Center. Oh, look at it. People would come here and definitely feel inspired to study the sciences and really learn more about the natural world. If I could just keep the thing on, what is up with all of these power outages? Can I get a larger like power station yet? Because I don't think that this first island can really support my dreams any longer with an old station like this. A small power station three. Uh, all right, now I need to like restart another power station. All three of them actually just went offline. Uh, not by sabotage, just offline. Whilst we were tromping about. Can I unlock the medium power? What do you mean research needed? All right, what kind of research do I need to finally get a larger power station? And look at that science center. Ah, I want the science center so bad. I definitely want the science center. All right, so the medium power station, that would be idle. Oh, security for uh, Mereta and Pina. Oh man. Okay, that's going to take me a little bit to get to. But let's see what else we have been up to. We have some of our fossil dig teams out. Uh, uh oh. Oh, I didn't. I couldn't do my expeditions for a second. I was like, why is the world red? Code red? Code red? Is there some sort of terrible outbreak of a disease? That would be a plot twist if suddenly your researchers had to switch from focusing on dinosaurs to focusing on like people. Hmm. All right. So let's see. Let's see, let's see. Do I need to study anything else? I want some more Maya DNA. I think we can finally make a Maya. And I'm just going to start gathering some more fossils and doing some more research. Let's do incubation speed research. And, oh, dig- <gasps> What? I could have been researching an entirely new dig team this whole time? Oh, that's what I get for not paying attention properly to the stuff we're doing in here. That's just ridiculous. I'm just gonna assign somebody to working on tooth hardness just because we can. Oh my goodness. All right. Well, we've got a few projects if I want to be able to unlock some of these special things, the special buildings, like my gorgeous innovation center, which we now have, that we can have um, on our islands. There's a security center, which I actually think would be kind of cool to get so that we could put it down on the fourth island where I have my killer T-Rex on the loose. And of course I want the science center, which would be so much fun to have. And I kind of wanted to just keep going until we have the Cynoceratops, Cynoceratops, because it sounds really interesting. And it's really hard to get because we would have to unlock almost the entire reputation for entertainment. Speaking of which, I have two contracts for security right now, guest maintenance, so we need to get a guest count of at least 1,800, which is going to be... Yes! Dig Team Charlie unlocked! Huzzah! We're going to have three dig teams. I might have to pop over to the other island. Uh, I'm going to sell the cheapest items and keep all of the really expensive ones. Hmm. What should I assign them to, I wonder? Maybe over on the Isle of Wight. We'll just, we'll just collect fossils at random until I feel like we're, we have enough. But it's just so fun to unlock all of these things, even though I do want to go to the fourth island and deal with the issues that we have left behind there. Hmm. 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 Not to mention there's other things that we need to unlock and, like, missions that we need to do. But let's see. Um, should I unlock that or should I? Uh, back and forth, back and forth. Let's just pick a thing to do. I want to see what would it take to get a contract for request contract, request in progress. I don't, oh, there we go. I, I kind of want to choose science and maybe get the science center next. Should I do that? Or just keep going? I'm going to keep going on entertainment. Really, really, I don't even, uh, that's why I never do the entertainment because he always assigns me to things that we don't even have the DNA for because he's being a brat. All right, well, we're making good money here. I probably should go ahead and leave here soon. Let's let's stay long enough that we finish all of the research that we could possibly do here. I'm going to get somebody up on intuitive learning and somebody up on aggressive instincts. 
And then once we finish the genetic research, we're going to get out of here. We're going to go back to the fourth island uh, and we can work on some cool projects that we have until then, like releasing a Lacalsmosaurus and also trying to photograph three patches because that is the nicest assignment George has ever given me. And I would like to reward him for giving me something that doesn't involve fighting my dinosaurs to the death. So let's release these chasms. The very first, oh, look at that. Look at that beautiful sail. As we learned last time, most likely used to try to assign like a visual of individuals within a herd or as possibly a way to attract mates. Look at that, to say, hey, look at my handsome head. And look at you. Okay, we're gonna release another for social really, really soon. Another three-horned dinosaur. The top of its head features a wide frill, too thin for protection. So it's hypothesized that instead it used to impress, it was used to impress a potential mate, which on islands cannot happen, I'm assured. As I was before, huh? All right, so we've got some dig teams ready to go. All right, so our very first chasm, coming over to get the traditional drink of water with a beautiful waterfall in the background. Look at that. Hopefully it is ready to be the star of the show today. Look at that frill. I think we read about it quite, yeah, we read about it in the engine last time too. And if I release two of them, look at that as the ferns are parted, as it pushes its huge frill through. I love it, I love it, I love it. Hello you. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> All right. Oh, and don't forget, guys, I still need names. I'm still collecting names. Oh, my gosh. And Parker the Triceratops is like, well, you kind of look like you could be my friend. That's so funny. He looks up and he's like, ah, close enough. And he just goes back to eating. Parker, you're so laid back, old man. You're so laid back. All right. And the chasms should be pretty happy now. What? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Wait. You guys need a bigger herd size? Can you just adopt Parker for a split second? Oh dear, oh no, 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 no. Okay, incubate, incubate. I guess we're gonna incubate like a whole bunch of these. Uh, one more should do it. Oh yes, yay, all right. We managed to have more guests. We increased our security without like really trying. That's so cool. Okay, these guys are slowly becoming more dissatisfied because I think they need at least three in their group. How's population? Ooh, and they're a little fussy on population. Yeah, Victoria doesn't care. Victoria and Nario could care less about population. And Parker... Uh, he, he, oh, and I need to do, refill some feeders. Whoops. Yeah, Parker's kind of so-so on them. All right, let's go ahead and refill those feeders really quickly. I think I need to put in another... Yeah, I'm going to need another tall herbivore feeder somewhere. Or else... Oh! <gasps> what happened to the train?! <laughs> That was alarming. I like destroy a train with a tall herbivore feeder. Whoa, didn't mean to do that. Just like everybody out of the way, knocked him off with a tree. Uh, that would be what I would do. All right, so yeah, these guys do unfortunately need another, another one in their group. And the authenticity is 63. Now we need to photograph three Pachiosauruses. Hmm. I kind of want to create them and then drop them over here, but I'm sort of saving this area for like a big five star. Could I make like a little patchy section over here? Cause that would be kind of nice. I own oh, my restaurants. Are you people, are you people, am I making good money on these people? I could make better money. Yeah, I've got to be willing to like charge them an arm and a leg. No, hey, I saw 8,000 a second ago. Come on. It was somewhere around here. Maybe? All right, seven, seven, seven. All right, fine. $53 for a dino steak grown in a lab. Gift shop, night vision goggles. 33. Yeah, it looks like 33 is the sweet spot there. Yeah, if we add in the patches, maybe that'll give somebody more things to look at at this hotel because we have a whole nother The Shadows Hotel where they can view uh, our carnivores. Do I have any carnivores left in here? Yeah, I do. There we go. Our Dilophosaurus hanging out at the back. 
A three star. Not bad. Not bad. Could be a little better, but not bad. Uh, let's go ahead and put some fencing down. Let's just start with steel fencing. Patches I don't think need a steel fence. But better just to kind of start off that way. Let's see. Maybe some fencing along here. And then we'll sort of dive in to put the viewing area. Hopefully this will be big enough for them. Can I make it even bigger? I think I can. There we go. And I can actually delete delete this fence there. So this is a nice big, big area. Enclosure, viewing gallery. Come along. Oh no, it's obstructed. Oh, curses. Where could I possibly build this? Oh, like inside here? That is the last place. Come on. Don't be stubborn. Oh, it seemed to think about it for a split second. Yeah, it's really hard to actually build these things. Okay, I'm gonna have to destroy my, my precious fence for a second. Ah, it's just very awkward to try to, there we go, there we go. Okay, and then line it up right there. And then, uh, oh, hey, a science thing. Apply a ranger reload. Oh, pff, that, give me that. That is like a easy peasy mission. Totally can get on that. The facility itself is a kind of organism. It needs to grow. Claire, I am working on it. That feels like a bit of a chiding for not doing more things. The gyro station, I still need to do research on. I'm getting some new dinos installed in like two seconds here, okay? Let's see. And then we'll make a little more room this way. Yeah, maybe I'm just gonna, I should just come right up against the back. You can eat your, your like tofu dino steak waltzed hanging out right next to the patches. And we're gonna put patches in here even though it seems like an odd choice because we do have the little mission dedicated to the patches that I wanna to try to fulfill because George never gives me peaceful things. <laughs> I'm gonna take advantage of it while I can. Uh, all right, there we go. Gate installed. Nice. And let's see. Uh, I think I'm gonna need probably a little bit of water. I'm not sure how much, but we'll go ahead and like put a little pond back here. I don't know how much patches need. We'll find out. Let's put substation down. Hide it in the back. Connect it up back here. Boom. All right, good. All right, so let's try getting... Oh, that's right. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Get out, get out, get out before my chasms go on a rampage. Oh no, who died? I turned my back for one minute. <gasps> lemon! Oh, Lemon! Oh, we're just constantly losing our little, our little roosters. Why do I bother? It's like getting a hamster as a pet. You get attached and just as you get attached, they're, they're two years old and you're at the end. Oh, all right, let's see. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm just gonna have incubate. Yeah, I'm gonna incubate just a couple a couple new ones and we'll have to name them in the future. So I need your guys' names. I know I keep saying that. I am collecting them. I just, I'm trying to get some stuff done. All right, so the new chasm has been released and they are satisfied. They want a very specifically, oh, look at that. They want a very specific size of a herd. Look at you. That's really cool to watch the rain run down in little runnels. Uh. Yeah? I don't know why watching this one kind of reminds me of watching like a cross between an ostrich and a cow. Not sure why, but it does. Uh, all right. And we've got a couple adorable new roosters, unnamed, who will go be added to the flock. I love my little roosters. All right, and then over here, we're gonna go ahead and we are gonna incubate the patches. There we go. And that's the one he wants, right? Sure enough. All right, so do we wanna modify this guy at all? I'm not sure. There is alpine, savanna, and arid patterning, and it would actually help their popularity quite a bit. So we're gonna go ahead, let's go with arid. And I don't think I have enough of their DNA to feel super comfortable. Oh boy. Yeah, I don't really feel super comfortable messing around with their viability. I can make them more aggressive, weirdly enough. 
And that would increase the rating a little bit more. Rating plus 30%. Ooh. Lifespan. Rating plus 15%. Oof. I don't know if I would have Apache. You know what? All right, let's just go for it. We're going to go for the highest amount. Like, viability is now 22%. I think this is $400,000 down the drain. Not going to lie. That's about as much as I make a minute. So that's a pretty expensive mistake. So let's send off our fossil diggers. Maya. Maya. Sell this. Extract that. Extract that. Um, what's the next cheapest thing? I've got a lot I need to take back. Because I have Team Charlie waiting now too, don't I? Alright, so where's my patchies? Patchies. Here. Here. Para, para. Para. Chasm. Patchy. Alright, so, uh-oh. It looks like I just exhausted Hell Creek Formation. Alright. Well, we'll have to wait for it to be better. Uh, there we go. So apply a ranger reload speed 3.0 upgrade to a ranger station. I can totally handle that. Where's my ranger station? Right over here. And let's do... Oh, let's do... This is accuracy. Let's do reload speed 3. Boom. Time for an upgrade. Nice. And now I have... Oh, we're almost five stars. What? <gasps> Look how close I am to the science center. Give me those science quests. Give, 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 give. Ooh. I clicked on the wrong thing and like ended up in a really cool screen. Uh, no, I wasted four hundred thousand dollars. Oh, that's so painful. I'm sorry, little guy. Let me try again. I just want to. If we're gonna go for the best, we might as well just start at, at the best. All right, where's the feeder? There's the feeder. We'll resupply it. All right, so let's go ahead and just request a science contract because. At least six new dinosaurs. On it! I've got this! Population increase! Incubate, hatch, and release at least six new dinosaurs. Check out this contract. I don't think you'll need much encouragement to increase our population. No, I won't, especially if the science center is riding on adding six dinos. Alright, let's see. We've done all of the building upgrades. We are now doing the Tooth Hardness 4, Skin Toughness 2, Oh no, we lost another one. Come on, Patchies. Come on, little guys. I'm trying to get you some more DNA to research, but until then, I need you to work with me here. All right, and the chasms are happy for once. I think we have more people coming on in. Is there a spot I can like look and see how many guests I have? They want to have more fun. <gasps> Do I ever have some fun for you guys that I forgot to introduce? A <laughs> bowling alley, hello. We've got a bowling alley. We also have the bar, the toy shop. No, somebody died. Oh no, it was Nario. Oh, Nario, old man. Thank you for having joined us as long as you did. Thank you very much. And remember guys, you can leave a comment, leave your names if you would like to be named in the dinosaur groups and you could kind of seek out the others who are named uh, in the same group as you. It's really fun to see when people become friends when they're like, hey, we're both roosters together. Very cool. Uh, all right, yes, one of the patchies made it, you guys. One of the patchies made it. I am so happy about that. Do I, ha I don't have success rate three yet. Incubation. Oh, I do have an incubation speed 3.0. Let's put that puppy on. Nice. All right. Do I have anything that could help my pat? Oh, T-Rex DNA. Draco Rex. Triceratops. Patchy! A little teeny bit of patchy DNA. And a really cool snake fossil. I'm going to go ahead and sell it. All right. Uh, expedition completion pending. Oh, no. Is it going to be stuck there? Insufficient fossil. Wait, insufficient fossil capacity. Huh. Oh, but who broke the fence? Who broke the fence? Oh, no. Oh, no. Carpenter. He's a danger to guests. Carpenter, what happened? What happened? Quickly. Somebody. Tranquilize him. Somebody else. Get Oak over here and, like, fix this fence now. The, the goats are going to get out. Uh, Carpenter, what happened, buddy? Don't hurt anybody. Oh, he's lonely. He's lonely because Cory died. Oh, Carpenter. Oh, I'm so sorry. No, Carpenter, don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, no. That was like, I was just talking about installing a bowling alley, Carpenter, but this is not what I meant. Oh, 
Carpenter, calm down. Oh no. Do you have, do you have, is, do you have like, oh thank goodness he didn't kill anyone. <gasps> I'm so relieved. I thought that every time somebody got knocked down, they got killed, but he's got zero humans killed. Carpenter, you can still be a good boy. Oh, there he, he took it straight to the neck. I see it right there. Come on, buddy. Come on. Oh, he's getting wobbly. He's getting wobbly. Come on, Carpenter. D just give in. <laughs> count count goats and go to sleep or something. Where is he? <laughs> oh my gosh. Is he like escaping? Carpenter, how am I going to get you out of there? I can't even see you. Oh, there you are. Like they couldn't get to him because he was... Uh, oh, no. I'm s oh, 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 oh. Did that one do it? Did that one do it? They got him again. Oh, there we go. Oh, look at your legs, buddy. That looks so uncomfortable. All right, well, we're gonna have to move him. Uh, have we closed up that fence? Have we closed up that fence? Yep, ranger team was on it. All right, well, I, I need to make a new quarry, but that also, well, you know, Carpenter, maybe there's a quarry out there for you somewhere else. Can I, can I like mark to sell? Sell unconscious dinosaurs. What if I like, not because I don't want him, but what if he'd be happier? You know what I mean? Like, yes, he's, he's only worth 7,000, but I'm, I'm imagining that somebody else out there also has a lonely quarry that we can send him to you. So I'm not getting rid of him as, oh, the goats got loose indeed. Look at that. <laughs> Security goats on the loose. So it's not like I'm getting rid of him as much as I'm like trying to send him to somebody else who also has a lonely, lonely quarry who could really use a mate. Uh, success rate 2.0. Yeah, I have success rate maxed out on this. Hmm. So all right, well, we have some new dinosaurs to play with for sure. Uh, I need to release some dinosaurs in order to get closer to that science center. And two of our patchies have actually made it. So we've got a lot to do, guys. We've got a lot to do. I'm going to take one quick peek at the fossils. We have a little teeny bit more patchy DNA that we can get out. And we are getting further and further along on completing all of the research we can do here. And once we complete that, then boom, we're out of here, back to the other island. Uh, I'm just going to continue to kind of send people out at random. Perform <laughs> perform a successful expedition to a dig site. I think that uh, our good doctor here wants me to get that science center before we go. So I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.